Hey everyone. So today I thought I would talk to you about sour crop and impacted crop. Um, those are a couple pretty serious situations for hens. Um, it's actually a yeast infection. So the crop bacteria gets out of balance and if it turns into a yeast infection, the crop can quit working and it becomes sour. Oh, we have a visitor behind me. <laughs> it becomes sour. And that sour crop isn't good because it's not working anymore. So how can you tell if it's sour crop or impacted crop? In, in both cases, the food is not being ground up properly in the crop and moving down into their stomach, into the rest of their system. So how can you tell? Um, the, the hen might be lethargic. Um, and if you look at her, the crop will be swollen. Um, it might feel soft and mushy. Um, you might hear some gurgling when you're checking it out because in the morning after spending the night sleeping, that crop should be empty. So at nighttime when you, when you look at them, you should see a big bulge in the crop because they're going to fill it up right before bed. Then it should get processed overnight while they're sleeping, and in the morning it should be pretty empty. They shouldn't still have that big bulge. So if you see that big bulge, that would be something to check out in the morning. And if it's sour crop, a lot of times you can smell it from their mouth. So if you, if you get too close, um, you, it smells sour. That's why it's called sour crop, because the bacteria has gotten out of whack in the crop and it's not working properly. Now, impacted crop typically comes from eating too much, like, grass, stringy things, grass, straw, hay, that kind of thing. Um, and it's not, like it's nodding up in the crop instead of passing through. So watch how much grass and that kind of stuff they, um, they're they eating because that could cause a problem. Um, and so what do you do about it if you think that you've got a hen with sour crop or impacted crop? Well, you need to get, you need to empty the crop. You need to get the food out of there. The, whatever the blockage is. So what you do is you massage it. You can put a little bit of oil down their throat so that the oil can grease it up a little bit, help it pass. Uh, you can massage it every couple hours. If you can't get it to pass down through the digestive tract, then the next option would be to um, hold them upside down. You probably need someone to help you do this. So you hold the hen upside down, and instead of massaging down, you would massage up. And the idea is to get them to throw up, because chickens don't naturally throw up the way humans do. So you would need to force whatever's in the crop out so that they can then get back to a normal crop bacteria. Um, so that would be one way. Actually, that's the best way. Um, worst case, you can take them to a vet and have the vet take care of them. Um, but I know that vets can be expensive. So that would be how you could handle it yourself. So watch for any crop issues. And um, the best thing is to prevent them. And that's just don't give them a lot of pasta. That can cause a yeast change in their crop. Also, don't, um, don't give them a lot of stringy grass and that kind of thing. So if you're going to give them treats like that, I would I would break it up into smaller pieces. And uh, it looks like one of the girls wants to, uh, wants to be on here with me. So let's see if I can get her in the picture. There she is. I can't tell if this is Celeste or Victoria. They look the same, but she um, she's one of my friendly ones. She likes to hang out all the time. On one of the other videos, you may have seen her fly up onto my arm while I was shooting the video. So that's my information for you today about sour crop and impacted crop. So just when you let your girls out in the morning, just check everybody real quick and make sure everyone looks okay and it looks like their crop emptied overnight. So that's my tip for you today, and I'll catch you on the next one.